be free of this heart Yeah Wanna feel your arms around me I need you more Need you here More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow Yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make clean with me videos, homemaking motivation and lifestyle too. Today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me marathon to give you the motivation to clean your whole house. I wanted to do something extra special for today's video as I knew I would need to organise a video for while I'm away on my honeymoon after the wedding so I wanted to do something extra exciting and special. So this video is a compilation of all my best motivating clean with me videos which you can watch in the background while doing your own day of cleaning. If you do enjoy watching clean with me videos then please subscribe to my channel. I upload new cleaning videos every week with new up loads on Thursdays and Sundays at 4pm British time. I really hope you have enjoyed this non-stop cleaning marathon. I hope it gives you all the inspiration you need to get on top of your housework. So without further ado, let's get to the cleaning. I would like to admit, can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah, you never break, you never lie. Never ever scared of the dark stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where hi everyone welcome to my channel hattie homemaking where i make videos on homemaking cleaning and lifestyle so in today's video i wanted to do a morning clean with me so this is a general morning cleaning routine that i sometimes do i don't clean every morning i do try and do 30 minutes before work and 30 minutes after work. I feel like that's a way where you can incorporate homemaking into a full-time job seamlessly and it not take over your entire life. So most of the time when I'm feeling motivated enough, I do do my 30 minutes in the morning. I have to say it is the hardest time for me to get motivated. Most of the time I do just want to have a cup of tea and chill. So to get myself motivated for this morning clean with me, first of all, I'm just going to make myself and Paul a nice bit a cup of tea makes me wonder what wonder how come the trees get undressed when it's cold and don't they miss the leaves they left behind could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes until winter comes, until winter comes, it really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Next, I'm moving on to feeding Murphy, so I'm just going to give him a nice big scoop of his biscuits, and he always walks away from them at first, but then he always changes his mind and comes back for them. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to do is go into the bedroom and open the curtains. I also like to open our sliding door just to get loads of fresh air in. And then next I'm going to move on to making the bed. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away and show us where we are? It really makes me wonder.
once I've made the bed I just like to give it a good spray with this fabric Febreze spray and I like to just spray it over the cushions because I don't wash them as regularly as I do the bed sheet. So next I'm just going to sort out our basket of washing so as usual I'm just going to separate it into two different piles one for me and one for Paul and then Paul's things I'm just going to put away as there wasn't much today and then for my stuff I'm just going to put it back into the basket and then I'm going to go into my dressing room and put everything away there. I wonder So now in the dressing room, first of all, I'm just going to open the curtains and then our towels have been drying in here overnight. So I'm just going to pick them up and put them ready to go in the washing machine since I've decided to do towels today. So now I'm just going to sort out my big pile of clothes. So I like to just roll my pyjamas up to put them away and then I'm just going to hang up anything that does need to be hung. It really makes me wonder. now I'm moving on to putting the laundry in. I do like to try and put a laundry load in each morning. I feel that keeps me up to date with everything. So today we didn't have much clothes to clean. So I decided to wash the towels and the bath mats. Wonder. moving on to the kitchen surfaces so first of all I'm just putting everything away that was left out last night or got out this morning and then I'm just going to give it a good spray with the pink stuff and give it a clean down with my minky. Now moving on to the dishes that have been drying overnight, I'm just going to put them away where they should be. And then next I'm just going to clean my little tea station. This does get covered in tea stains quite frequently so I do have to clean this morning and night. I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking cause you're holding it. 
And now I'm just moving on to cleaning my sink. So first of all, I'm just gonna start by using the pink stuff and my minky. Now moving on to the middle of the sink, I just use some SIF cream and then I just put that all around it and then using the shower head of my sink adapter, I just rinse all of that away. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of Sephora down the plug. I'm using the cinnamon scent just to get those autumn vibes. And then I'm going to fill up my bucket with some Sephora and hot water and then soak my minky in that just to disinfect it. Coming back to tell me sorry that you take back All the things you said just to hurt me I love just went cold But I'm still burning I love just went cold Now moving into the bathroom, so first of all I'm just going to start by cleaning my toilet. You might have seen my toilet cleaner in my last Home and Bargains haul, I'm really not impressed with it, I do not like the colour, I feel like it's such a strange choice of colour for the toilet. I much prefer bright green or purple or something like that, it's a bit of a strange colour, let me just say that for a toilet. So first of all I'm just going to wipe down the toilet and then I'm going to use the toilet cleaner. You said it was the last time that you keep coming back to show me sorry you have changed now but it's the same old story i love just went cold but i'm still burning I love just now moving on to the shower so first of all i'm just going to spray it with the daily shower shine and then if you see my home and bargains haul recently you will see that i mentioned the hat about using a dish matic with some bathroom cleaner and leaving it in your shower so i was just filling up my dish matic and putting it in there ready for my shower this morning and let me tell you it worked like a dream i have never enjoyed cleaning my shower so much as i did that morning <laughs> so i definitely feel like that is an absolute game changer if you're like me and don't enjoy cleaning your shower now i have to get over you again So now I'm just moving on to the sink, so I'm just going to use my Viacal and a microfiber cloth just to clean the sides. As you can see here, I got really clumsy. I was paying way too much attention to what I was actually capturing on the camera and not enough to what I was actually doing. So I ended up dropping my toothbrush holder and that had to go in the bin. So now moving back to finishing cleaning the sink after I had to have a little bit of a break to clean up all the glass that had smashed everywhere. And then to replace the toilet brush holder, I'm just having to use a mug. So I decided to use a mug from my own homemaking collection that says there's no place like home. And I feel like this is actually quite a cute little to toothbrush holder. I'm quite happy with it. And 
now moving on to cleaning the floor properly. So I already did a little bit of a hoover when I dropped the glass everywhere. So I'm just going over everything again. And then next to clean the floor, I'm just going to use a wipe and just get the main bits up with that. And the walls are closing in. Just remember where we go. So that is all I did this morning for my morning cleaning routine. So the three main rooms that you'll see I do is the bathroom, the kitchen and the bedroom and then any laundry. So they're the main things I tend to focus on in the morning but it does just depend on what needs are doing in the morning. I would say as a general rule of thumb I try to follow the fly lady morning routine. So that's bathroom, general surfaces, the sink. Um, I can't remember 100% but I think it's laundry and things like that so I try and follow at least a couple of steps I think even if you do five or ten minutes in the morning it just sets you up right for the day so I really hope you have enjoyed this morning clean with me I hope it's given you plenty of cleaning motivation please do subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and you like cleaning videos as there is lots more to come I have a new upload schedule of Thursday and Sundays at 4 p.m so in case you need to know when to come back they are the times so please do give this a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in my next video oh no hi everyone welcome back to my channel hattie homemaking where i make videos on homemaking cleaning motivation and lifestyle so in today's video i'm going to be doing an extreme clean with me i've broken it down into two parts just because i was getting seriously exhausted so this first part is going to be cleaning my kitchen and bathroom so it's an intense clean not just the things that you usually do on a daily basis but the stuff I like to do when I'm more deep cleaning and going into all the little crevices of my house so I hope this gives you loads of cleaning motivation and yeah let's just get started so first of all I am just writing out my hinge list so I'm writing out everything I need to do for the kitchen, bathroom, bedrooms and living room. So I like just to start out any serious cleaning day with this just because it keeps me on track and also at the end of it it's really nice to look back on and see everything that you've accomplished. So once I've wrote out all this list, we are then going straight on in to the kitchen and that is where I'm going to start. So before doing anything in my kitchen, I always like to make sure the dishes and the sink are done. I know it seems a little bit backward to do the sink first because then I use it for cleaning other things, but I just feel like I can't focus on anything else until the dishes and the sink are clean. It's like a weird thing that I've always done. So first of all, I'm just starting with putting all the previously clean dishes away. Inside you, oh quiet. Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know It's where we go I grow wings and tell her goodbye oh, It's not what we see It's what we choose to Once all the clean dishes are away, it's time to wash the new one. So I just clean using fairy liquid and a sponge. I do usually use a dishmatic, but I'd run out of dishmatic heads. So I had to just go back to being a peasant <laughs> and using a normal sponge. So this is pretty self-explanatory, just doing the dishes, nothing too glamorous here. Fire breath and 
sky It's not what we know It's where we go I grow wings and tell her goodbye It's not what we see It's what we choose to be We're beyond good now on to cleaning my sink. So today I decided to use SIF to clean out my sink. Once all the sink is coated in SIF and had a good scrub, I then rinse it out. I bought this tap attachment from Amazon and it turns into like a little shower and I absolutely love it. I bought it for my family as well and they are also loving it. I grow wings and tell So once the sink is clean, it's then time for pretty much my favourite cleaning activity, which is cleaning my kitchen plug hole. Someone asked me about this in my last cleaning video about what it was I was doing and whether it works. So let me just tell you, it works and you feel like an amazing scientist. <laughs> so first I, you just put in some bicarbonate of soda. I then put a tiny bit of Zaflora in. That part is optional. I just like to do it because it makes my sink smell incredible and then following with some white vinegar and it just reacts together and fizzes up and then goes down the sinkhole cleaning everything as it goes and leaving a really nice smell no need no explaining you're making me shake and shiver you shine in your shoes but hey so now it's time to dry and put the dishes away again another boring job but it has to be done as ready as i can be I'll be running free. And then as soon as the dishes are put away and the side of my sink is clear, it's now time to clear the sides of my sink and also my tap. Now moving on to cleaning the surfaces, so at the moment I'm enjoying using the pink stuff spray, I've been using that recently for my surfaces but that is probably the cleaning product I change up the most just because I like to try out different scents and things like that, for some weird reason it keeps me motivated to clean when I'm trying out new products. I'm taking it step by step I'm running and running I'm not slowing down just yet Now on to cleaning the toaster, so first of all I'm just taking out the trays at the bottom that collect all the seeds and I'm just going to throw all those seeds in the bin. I'm then going to give those trays a good clean and put them back in. Now it is time to clean the top of my toaster, so it had quite a lot of burn marks on it and it was just not in the best condition so I decided to use my scrub daddy combined with the pink stuff spray. Be really careful when spraying your toaster that you don't actually spray it directly on the toaster, you spray it on whatever you're going to use to clean just because you don't want cleaning products getting inside your toaster and then your bread will not taste the best. <laughs> so I'm just using that and it actually came up really really nice and sparkly and yeah that was just a really satisfying moment now moving on to the hob so I'm just using SIF again and I can't resist doing a little heart and then I'm just using the scrub daddy first of all cold so that it's hard and it's much better at getting all the tough stains out and things that have burnt onto the hob come back again 
pictures of us flooding back just like a wave makes me wonder then I rinse my scrub daddy with warm water so that it goes a little bit more loose and then I just go over it again then I just wipe all the sif away and finish it off with some white vinegar spray and my minky cloth which just helps things shine up really nicely now moving on to the microwave so I'm just using the pink stuff and the scrub daddy again and just going over everything with that and then finishing off with a minky just to shine everything up I was being next to you way back when we didn't care what they said people could stare I didn't give a damn cause all I needed was my friend way back Now moving on to the kettle so just spraying that down again and I don't always do this but I had a little look in and see if it needed lime scale removal. I very rarely have to do that because I live up north in the UK where the water is generally not as hard so we don't get as bad lime scale build up but I just thought I would try out these descaler tablets so you just put it in your kettle let it fizz away and then boil it. Be really careful once you use this you do have to boil your kettle a couple of times and rinse it out before you use it to make a cup of tea. When we didn't care what they said People could stare I didn't give a damn Cause I was being next to you Way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare I didn't give a damn Cause all I needed was my friend Way back when Way back Now I'm moving on to cleaning my oven. So when I do an intense oven clean, I like to use Oven Pride, but I only really use that maximum once a year, just because it is such an intense cleaner and I don't know the long-term effects of my oven of using that. So I like sometimes just to do a bit of a brief clean just to reduce the amount of time I have to use Oven Pride. Obviously it just means that I can't get any of those tougher burns out, but I find just using a Scrub Daddy and the pink stuff followed by the Minky again, just works perfectly. I'm used to give all I have. I'm used to get nothing back. I also like to unclip my tray and take it out and just give it a proper good clean on all sides. There's no one to blame. Sometimes I can understand how we can be so hard to stay out of pain But with you everything has changed Even though we both stay the same Would you call me on the midnight train? Would you come over when nothing's right? Next I'm just cleaning the oven trays with fairy liquid and a sponge and then I'll put them back in. Even as we're having a fight. So I'm just finishing off by cleaning the sides of the kitchen that I didn't do originally and just making sure everything is in its rightful place and any marks from the walls and things like that are removed. And then onto the floor in the kitchen, I'm just giving it a quick hoover just to pick up any bits that I throw on the floor as I'm cleaning the sides. Does anyone else do that? Sometimes I just throw all the crumbs and everything onto the floor because I know I'm going to hoover it in a matter of minutes. And 
then once I've done the hoovering I'm just filling up a nice warm bucket of fairy liquid and water to mop my floors. I did used to use the flora but I don't like using this because I've heard loads of stories of pets and the flora and how it's really not good for them. So whenever I use the flora now I make sure it's nowhere near where Murphy can get. And that is all the kitchen done so we're just going to tick off the list and just feel really proud of myself that I got all that done. Now it is time to move on to the bathroom. So as you can see, the bathroom was just not at its most cleanest. So the first thing I want to do is do what I call a bleach bath. So I take anything around the bathroom that is just looking a bit worse for wear. As you can see, this plug was seriously disgusting. I'm so embarrassed about that. But I just took all my plugs out and also the headrest that I use for my bath. I put it in a bowl fill it with bleach and then boiling water and it just cleans everything perfectly it removes any mold and mildew and just gives it a really good clean so fast went from so lonely to falling asleep in your arms i used to be afraid next i'm just picking up any dirty towels and bath mats and i will put out fresh ones at the end of the day but now I don't care Cause you took my scars Bruises and broken Going on to cleaning my toilet. I know loads of people joke about cleaning the toilets and how you don't want to be stuck at home cleaning your toilet all day and things like that, but I genuinely love cleaning my toilet. I just find it so relaxing. I don't know what it is. So first of all, I just go over with some toilet paper. I then use a wipe. I try not to use wipes that much. The only place I just can't fathom using a cloth is the toilet. So I will use a wipe for that. My bedsheets don't want to wash it away I know sometimes I get too caught up in and then I just use duck around the inside of my toilet and then just give it a scrub with the toilet brush and then I will put a little bit more in for good measure and just to keep it smelling amazing. Now moving on to cleaning my sink, again another cleaning activity that just gives me a lot of joy. I just love cleaning my sink. <laughs> so I just clean the sink using Biocal and a microfiber cloth. I just go over it and make sure all the hair and everything, Paul's beard hairs are removed and toothpaste and everything that you can imagine is removed. Once that's done, I'm just putting a little bit of bleach down the plug hole. I just do that every now and then just to keep it smelling fresh and it helps with any blockages and things like that. Show me how to heal Took my scars Bruce. So now moving on to cleaning my bath. So again, I just use a microfiber cloth and Biocal. I just work my way all around the bath and then once I've done that, I'll give it a good rinse out with the shower head. Oh, 
lotion. So now I'm cleaning my taps. Again, I just use Viacal and I swap my cloth to the minky cloth. I like to use the minky on anything that is either glass or stainless steel just because it is so good at getting the shine. Dance for me Easy tiger, easy Let your hair down Come closer Next for the cleaning job that is actually my least favourite which is cleaning the inside of my shower. I absolutely hate it and water always drops on me and my feet always get wet and it's just not an enjoyable experience but it's got to be done. So again just using Biocal and my microfiber cloth just getting in the shower and getting into all the crevices. So now it's time to move on to my shower screen and to be honest at this point I was running out of energy. It had been a long day anyway in work and I had planned on doing a proper clean of my shower but I just reached the stage where I didn't have much energy so I decided to opt for the Astonish Daily Shower Shine which you just spray on and leave. This is great for the days where like today you're just running out of energy a little bit. I do like to use cloths and white vinegar sometimes to give it a really good shine but this is a really great alternative that you can use daily as well after your shower that just helps to keep your shower nice and fresh. So now I'm going to hoover my bathroom floor so first of all I just like to remove anything that is getting in the way on the bathroom floor so my scales and my storage unit then I'm just giving it a good hoover I know not everyone hoovers their bathroom floor but I just find it really useful to remove hair and dust build up before I then go in and mop So now going in to mop the bathroom floor, I don't always use the old fashioned mop head like this, sometimes I do but other times I like to either use a spray mop or something else I love to do is just get down on my hands and knees with a wipe and really deep clean every inch of the floor and it's honestly so satisfying how much you get up. So to finish off the bathroom I'm just pouring out my bleach bath and putting all the plugs back and putting my bath headrest back too. And now just taking everything off my bathroom list and that is going to conclude the end of today's ultimate extreme <laughs> clean with me and in a couple of days I will upload the second half of this where I do the bedrooms and the living room which was filmed the day after since I just reached the stage where your girl just needed a cup of tea and a relax. <laughs> so I really hope you have enjoyed this extreme clean with me if you would like to see more videos like this then please do give this a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. everyone welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So this video is going to be part two of the extreme clean with me that I started yesterday. So today's video we are moving on to the bedrooms and the living room. I also had some laundry to get done so pretty much everything that needed to be done apart from the kitchen and the bathrooms that we did yesterday. So hopefully this is going to be a really useful 
useful video to help you get your cleaning motivation and help us just to get it all done together. It was a lot to get done but it was so worth it at the end having such a clean home. Two days dedicated to each different rooms and honestly you just feel like you have your life together. These were the lists I had left over from my other clean with me. I did end up rewriting these out just because I'm weird like that and I like to have new lists for a new day. But it gave a little indication as to what I needed to do, but I did add a couple of things on there. So starting off in the bedroom, this is one of the tasks I added on. So I decided to change the bed sheets today and give the bed a good clean. So first of all, I am just stripping off all the sheets ready to go in the washing machine. Once the sheets are off, then I am just going to pull out the bed from the headboard. So I just pulled the mattress out and I like to hoover down the side of there just to get rid of any dust that builds up and hair and I things like that. Tomorrow, closing in this fast, oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down. And then once I've done the side by the headboard, I also like to hoover my mattress. This is a really great tip, just to get any dust mites or anything that might be on your mattress. If you want to take it a step further, you can also put some bicarbonate of soda on there, leave it for a couple of hours and then hoover it up and it just gets rid of any odours and things like that. Oh, the time I so once I'm satisfied that the bed is nice and clean, now it's time to put some new sheets on and then put my little pillow arrangement on there. And then to finish off the bed, I'm just giving it a spray with the Febreze fabric spray. Moving on now to folding Paul's clothes. He did want to give them an iron when he got in, but I just thought I'll just fold them just to make them look neat. So that is a little check on my list and then he can sort out the rest. So next I'm just doing a little bit of tidying and just making sure that everything is put away in its rightful place. Now I'm moving on to cleaning the surfaces. So to start with, I just use my pledge duster and I just wipe off any dust. I don't bother catching it, I just put it onto the floor because I hoover straight away anyway. And then once all the dust is gone, I'm then going over with a cloth and some pink stuff.
Next is time to clean the mirrors. So I'm just using my Minky and white vinegar spray and just making sure any marks are gone and they have a good shine. Moving on to cleaning this little windowsill we have in our bedroom that does get quite dirty so I'm just cleaning all around the bottom as you can see and it does get a good build up of dirt and rust and all things like that so I do like to give this a good clean quite regularly. And then I decided just to give the windows a bit of a clean as well with my minky and white vinegar spray. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go, spend my coin for show. I'm gonna be myself, or I can be so. So finishing off, I'm just gonna hoover the bedroom and then I'll just finish it off with some carpet spray. So now I get to tick away all that new list that I have wrote out and it was extremely satisfying and then moving on to the office. So as you can see my office slash dressing room was an absolute dumping ground. I am so embarrassed at how I've let it get in this state but it's been a combination of wearing multiple different outfits. I also filmed my charity shop haul in there recently so I had all the stuff from that out and yeah it's just um, I have no excuses I'm sorry <laughs> So first of all I'm just gathering up all the clothes and putting them into one big sort out pile. And then removing my towel from my bike. This bike does get used and I did go for a period of using it daily but recently it has been more of a towel storer so today I'm going to give it a good clean and spruce up and hopefully that will motivate me to get back on it. So then to start with sorting out the clothes, I'm just going to separate things that need to be hung up to things that go in drawers. That's just something I find makes it a lot quicker for me. So I'm just putting anything that can go in drawers back in the basket and then anything that needs to be hung up for now I'm just putting on the bike. Now is time to work through all the things that need to be hung up so I'm just hanging them in their right place. I do like to keep my wardrobe fairly organised so I do have different sections like dresses, tops, t-shirts, sweatshirts, cardigans, things like that so I try and keep to that as much as possible.
Next, I'm just moving on to my desk. So I'm just putting everything where it should be and then giving the desk a good clean with Pledge Duster and then my pink stuff. Now moving on to the clothes that just go in drawers so the main section of this was just pajamas so I like to roll up my pajamas like this I found it's the best way for storing them and I'm just a pajama fiend I can never have too many pajamas so I need to find a way that it stores them small enough so that I can have loads so I just put all those away Now moving on to cleaning the bike, so I just took an anti-back wipe, I was running out of microfiber cloths that were clean at this point, so a wipe was my only real option considering how much sweat <laughs> the bike probably accumulates and bacteria and things like that, so I just thought I'd better be safe than sorry and remove all that. Next I'm just cleaning the windows in this bedroom slash office again. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. And again, I'm just cleaning the windowsill. I did have a basket full of my horse riding stuff that I moved and put in the outhouse after this since at the moment I'm not currently riding so it really had no point being there and it was a bit of an eyesore. I remember that it's old. Yeah. You never break. So then to finish off this room, again, I'm just going to hoover and then do some carpet spray. I find the combination of hoovering and then carpet spray as your last thing to do in each room just finishes off. And then if you want to take it a step further, of course, light a candle. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase and everything is going just great.
So now it's time just to tick everything off that list and then I'm going to move on to focusing on the laundry. So I just already had some laundry to take out and then I'm just going to fill it with more laundry and move the other stuff to the tumble dryer. Can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. So I got these towels from the tumble dryer so I just needed to fold them and put them away. Moving on to the living room, so the living room was quite clean already, it didn't have much to do but it was more just tidying and more deep cleaning the things that I hadn't done in a couple of weeks. So first of all I always start by cleaning and tidying this room by sorting out Murphy's toys. As you can see Murphy has a lot of toys, he is our prince and he can never have too many so I first just start by picking them up and put them, we call it his toy box, just a little box that we keep on the floor that he can take his toys out of and unfortunately we haven't trained him to put them back in what happened what you're up to today remember when we stole your mother's car we drove for days so next i'm just doing a quick little tidy around and putting everything back where they should be we were higher than the ceiling middle fingers to the sky i remember Thinking if I only could stop the time Way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare I didn't give a damn Cause I was now moving on to cleaning the surfaces so i just give all the surfaces in this room a good clean with a microfiber cloth and the pink stuff Way back when. Remember when my father taught us how to play guitar And we started up a band in my garage We thought our dream would take us so far But after a week or so it all just fell apart But we were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time Right now, way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause I was being next to you Way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause all I needed was my friend Way back when Next I'm moving on to my windowsill So again just using a microfiber cloth Just making sure I take everything off there and giving it a good clean. Fingers to the sky. Way back when, way back when. Then to put everything back, I started with this mirror tray. So I wanted to give that a good buff since it was looking a little bit grubby and dusty. So I use a minky just to shine that up. And now I'm just putting everything back on my windowsill. Dance for me Easy tiger, easy Let your hair down Come Now moving on to the log burner area So I first just start by hoovering all the dust And all the rubbish that falls out of the log burner When you burn it Now I'm just giving the tiles around the log burner A good clean And this is so satisfying You get loads of dirt up Even when it doesn't even look that dirty So 
now moving on I'm just going to take all the cushions off the sofa and give it a good hoover and get any crumbs or anything that have fallen down it I actually couldn't believe how little crumbs there were considering I don't think I've done this in about two months which is actually quite bad but there's barely any crumbs down there and we do eat in the living room quite a lot so we must just be quite clean eaters which I don't know if that's entirely true but I'm just gonna say it is So once the couch has then been hoovered, I'm then just going to put all the cushions back on and then give it a good spray with Febreze. Now moving on to our other little sofa that we got second hand really cheap and it is so comfy. I love this sofa so much but I do like to keep a blanket over it just because it's a little bit discoloured in the middle. So I keep a blanket over it and some pillows so I just wanted to straighten that up. Then moving on to doing the mirrors again just using white vinegar spray and my minky. About to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know and then just going to finish off the living room by giving it a good hoover and then using some carpet spray what we can be like with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for And then finally back to the laundry so I'm just taking out the load that I put in before and I will put those into the tumble dryer. I'm then going to put in all of my microfiber cloths and minkies just because I literally have none left. I feel like you can never have too many microfiber cloths especially when you're trying to stay away from using kitchen towel and wipes and things like that. So. I feel like I do have a lot of microfiber cloths but they come in useful because I like to use a different one for each thing so that you're not cross contaminating. So then I'm just ticking off the living room list and then I also had a bit of an ad hoc list so I had only three things on there which was laundry, makeup brushes and doing the laundry drawer since it was looking a little bit grubby but I'm going to save the makeup brushes and the laundry drawer for another time. I'll probably end up just tagging that onto a normal day of house cleaning since I'd run out of energy this day. So that is the end of my Extreme Clean With Me part two. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have been motivated to clean and get that amazing feeling of when you've cleaned your space and you just feel incredible. So I really hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Hi 
everyone, welcome to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning and lifestyle. So in today's video I'm going to be doing an autumn clean with me or for anyone non-British out there a fall clean with me. So this was an all day clean, it was a really productive day so I hope you get loads of cleaning motivation out of this and it inspires you to go and clean your own homes. <music> So first of all, I just got all my autumn decor out and some cleaning bits as well. I wanted to do this to get a nice thumbnail, but I just thought I'd include it in this just because it looks all pretty. Now I'm just going to move on to showing you a couple of the cleaning products I'm going to use. So first of all, I always use white vinegar. I use it on any glass or stainless steel. I've then got this cinnamon scented flora and I feel like that just gets all the autumn vibes. I've also got this comfort laundry softener and I use the scent Cherry Blossom and Sweet Pea. I've then got this Febreze fabric spray in the scent Gold Orchid. Moving on, I have Flash Floor Cleaner that I didn't actually end up using, so we're just going to ignore that. And then finally, I have the Pink Stuff Spray and some Sif Cream. And then I just have some autumn candles as well. So I have this one in the scent gingerbread. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a nice big cup of tea in an autumn -y style mug. And that's just going to help me get through some of the cleaning and help motivate me. And then the first thing I'm going to start with is the kitchen. I feel like once the kitchen is clean, it feels like the main base of the house is taken care of. So I'm just going to start by collecting any dirty dishes and putting them by the side of the sink. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't want to face it. You think it's too late. But I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it Let's make up a big bonfire On the beach with the stars as our lighter Now I'm just going to move on to cleaning the dishes with my fairy washing up liquid and also my dishmatic No more problems in the flame Hold me like this is the first time. 
Now moving on to cleaning the sink. So I'm using my SIF cream and I'm just gonna clean all around the sink with this brush. I'm then gonna rinse that out using the shower attachment for my sink. Once I've done that, I'm just going to put some bicarbonate of soda and white vinegar in the plug hole just to help get rid of any bad smells and things like that. And then moving on to using my cinnamon zaflora, so I'm just going to put a cap full down the sink and I'm then going to fill it with hot water and that just fills the kitchen with really cosy autumn -y scents. I'm then going to fill up the bucket with some zaflora and some hot water and then I can just use that with a minky to clean the sides. Next, I'm just gonna dry and put away the dishes that I've just done. It's been you all along But I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all If I just could get myself together And then to finish off the sink, I'm just going over with the pink stuff and my minky. I can just forget it. I'm done playing the waiting game. I'm so done. I'm all done playing the waiting game. Baby, like the stars. I've been a million miles away But you've been in my heart Somewhere down all this time. Now on to the kitchen surfaces So I always start just by putting everything where it should be And then I'm just going to leave out that candle And I can light that at the end And then once everything is put away I'm then going to go in with my minky and my pink stuff And just clean the sides and then also the tiles above it. I can just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I'm all done playing the waiting game Don't wanna spend one night Without your love Don't wanna miss one fight so listen, girl mm. I'm not Now I decided to clean my hob So I'm just using the SIF cream And then I'm going to use the Scrub Daddy to clean that So I always go in with the Scrub Daddy hard So if you use it with cold water, it stays hard And if you use it with warm water, then it goes soft So first of all, I start by using it hard Just to get any of those tougher stains up and then I'm going to wet it with warm water and then give it a proper clean. Next, I'm just going to remove all of the excess liquid with my minky and then I'm going to shine it up using the minky glass shiner. I'm all done playing the waiting game. So today I realised I actually had to clean my washing machine tray as well. I feel like if you don't stay on top of this regularly, it can get so bad. So as you can see, mine was pretty dire. So I just pulled it out and then I like to clean inside where the tray sits as well. I find a lot of mould and things can build up in there. So I just use a wipe 
for that just because it's easiest to get to the small places next to clean the tray itself i just use a tiny bit of bleach if you do use this method make sure you rinse out the tray thoroughly at the end otherwise you don't want little bits of bleach remaining in the tray and then it could get into your clothes and cause damage so i'm just going to use a tiny bit of bleach and hot water and then i actually use an old toothbrush just to clean this out i find it helps get into all the tiny little places So now I'm just going to dry the tray with a kitchen towel and I find that helps make sure I get rid of any of those bleach things as well. So I'm just going to put that tray back in and then just clean around the top of it as well. Next I'm going to put in a load of laundry so I'm just putting in a coloured wash today and then I'm going to use the fairy non-bio gel inside the washing machine and then I'm just going to use the comfort that I showed earlier as my fabric softener. Now moving on to cleaning my kitchen chairs so I find the stainless steel at the bottom of this does end up building a lot of dust and things so first of all I'm just going to clean that with white vinegar spray and my glass shiner minky and then to clean the top I'm just going to use a microfiber cloth and then the pink stuff. And then that is the kitchen complete. Now we're going to move on to the bathroom so the first thing I'm doing is just a general tidy so just putting towels away and moving buckets and things like that. You don't have to be afraid. Now moving on to the sink so I'm just going in with a microfiber cloth and some Viacal and I'm just going to clean the sink using that. Next, I wanted to move on to my skincare trays. So I keep my skincare in these trays and um, that are sort of copper colour in my bathroom, but I've noticed some of the colour of the copper has been bleeding onto the tiles. So I really just wanted to sort that out and give it a good clean. So first I'm just moving the trays away and then I'm going to take all of my skincare out because I'm going to clean and sort that out afterwards. And then using the Viacal and the Minky, I'm just going to clean it underneath and then put it all back. Moving on to cleaning out the bath, I just use Viacal and a minky cloth and just go all around the bath and then at the end I'm just going to rinse out using the shower attachment on my sink. Yeah. 
Next, I'm just gonna move on to shining my tap. So again, just using the Minky Shiner. I use this for so much. I feel like it just cleans so well. And then I'm also gonna use the Bite Car as well. Like off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for show. I'm gonna be myself. Now moving on to the toilet, so the same drill as that I usually do, I'm just going to use a bit of toilet paper just to clean all the dust off the top and then I'm going to go in using a antibacterial wipe and I'm just going to clean down the toilet using that and then finally I'm just going to clean the inside of the toilet using my duck toilet cleaner. I, when I'm in this town. Beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me now moving on to the shower, so first of all I'm just going to spray my daily shower shine. If you've watched my other cleaning videos you will know I now keep a dishmatic in my shower with shower and bathroom cleaning liquid in it. So I clean the shower while I'm in it and I feel like that just helps so much so all I really need to do is just give it a spray. But then I noticed a couple of the tiles at the bottom in the grout, it was starting to get a little bit of mould and I find that really hard to clean with regular cleaners. So I went in with this Astonish Mould and Mildew Blaster and all you do is just spray that over anywhere that you have got mould in your home and it just removes it, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to spray that and then leave it and then it came up really white in the end. Now just going back to the bath, we have this sort of ledge underneath where we have some extra storage under our bath and it does collect a lot of dust so I'm just, the only way I've found that it cleans it well is by using a wipe and almost using my fingernail underneath um, to get in the cracks almost and I just find that gets loads of the dirt up. Nothing can break me, try not to hold me. Now I'm just going to lift up the bath mats, I find they just dry a lot better over the side of the bath rather than on the floor and then I'm just going to give them a good spray with the Febreze fabric refreshener. Now moving on to a quick clean of the bathroom floor so I'm just going to give it a quick hoover and then following that I'm just going to go over with a wipe and just get any of the additional dust and dirt up. Myself. I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car And then that is the bathroom complete Think can break me Next, moving on to the bedroom. So first of all, I just needed to make the bed this morning. So just my usual method, just shaking out all the sheets and then I'm gonna add all our pillows onto it. Hey, do you remember 20 something years ago? Those cold nights in December and then to finish off the bed, I'm just going to give it a spray with Febreze. The fireplace warm and nice. Now to clean the bedside table, I'm just going in with my pink stuff and a microfiber cloth. Although I realised just before I was about to spray it that it wasn't my pink stuff at all. It was actually another shower shine. So I went back quickly and got the right spray, which was the pink stuff and then cut take two. And then as I was cleaning, the light was flashing as well. So this was a bit of a chaotic clip. Twice, a pair of jeans and a dusty shirt. We didn't have a dime. Now moving on to my radiator cover. So I'm just taking everything off and then I'm going to give it a clean with the pink stuff and a microfiber cloth. Now 
next for my little dressing table I'm just going to put away any wires and anything that was cluttering the sides I had a couple of makeup items out and some scissors and things like that so I'm just putting everything back where it belongs and then I'm just going to disinfect and clean this little area using my microfiber cloth and the pink stuff and then once I've done that I'm moving into cleaning the mirrors with my minky cloth and some white vinegar spray. A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt We didn't have a dime No, you and me were poor and stirred All we had was time Next I wanted to put together this duster so I just attached a new duster head onto it and then I just wanted to go through it anywhere in the bedroom that collects dust that I don't typically like to use cleaning sprays and things on so first of all I'm just going in with the TV and then moving on I'm just going to clean some of the photos. And all we had was time when you and me were poor And then to finish the bedroom, I just wanted to tidy up our curtains a little bit and then tidy up this little chair that we keep in the bedroom. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to town. Sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me. I love just went cold. And then that is the bedroom, nice and tidy and clean and freshened up. Moving on to my office slash gym slash dressing room. <laughs> so I'm just going to start by opening the curtains and then I'm going to move the towel that is, was drying in here overnight. And then I'm just going to put any clothes away. So I just had this huge cardigan that I'd been wearing that needed to be put away. Me apart, I can't pretend. Now I have to get over you again. Moving on to my desk, I'm just going to clean it up and then I'm going to go in with my duster. Back to show me, sorry you have changed now, but it's the same old story. I love just went cold, but I'm still burning. I love just went cold. Once it's all dusted and tidy, I'm going to go in with my pink stuff and my microfiber cloth. I like to just give everything a good clean, including my keyboard. Just the amount of times you touch it per day, I've heard that you really should be cleaning it as often as you clean your toilet seat. And then same as we did in the bedroom, I'm just going to go around all of the picture frames and just give them a good dust as well. Together again, you are back once more like everything's the same. I tried to build my walls up, but you're taking them down. It's tearing me apart, I can't pretend. Now I have to get over you. 
So very excitingly, I have my wedding bag out. It's not long before I get married and this video will actually be up after I get married since I have been pre-filming them quite a lot. So I'm just gonna organize this box and just close it properly and just put it in the corner of the room so it doesn't take up quite so much space. And then I'm just gonna straighten out the blanket and then put this little teddy that I keep on top of it. It's actually an exercise bench under there, so I just put the blanket over it just to make it look a little bit prettier. And then this is quite embarrassing, but I actually had to dust my bike since it's been so long <laughs> that I've been on it. I think I mentioned this in another cleaning video as well. And then since then I got really poorly, so I haven't been able to exercise barely at all. So just giving it a quick dust down, but hopefully in a couple of weeks after the wedding, I will be good to go again. And then finishing off in this room, I'm just gonna give the mirror a good clean and then that should be that room complete and looking really fresh. Now moving on to my Welsh dresser, so every so often I like just to take everything out of the Welsh dresser and just give it a good dust. This was quite a half-hearted attempt, <laughs> I was just kind of moving things around and just giving it a quick freshen up and dust. going into the living room so I just wanted to straighten up a little bit in the living room there wasn't much to do and Paul was working in there that day so all I did was start by straightening out the blankets and folding them up and just putting everything that was out on the sides away then as usual I'm just picking up all Murphy's toys and putting them in his little basket he was looking at me in disapproval but I tried to give him one of his toys and he didn't want it <laughs> Next I'm just going to straighten up our second sofa and just tuck the blanket in and make that look a lot neater. And then to clean our coffee table I'm just using the pink stuff and a microfiber cloth. And then to finish off in here I'm just going to do a quick spray of Febreze. So far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder So then to finish off all the rooms, I just got out the hoover and just went over all of the rooms with the hoover. Sometimes I do split it up and do one room at a time, but I just find it so much quicker with hoovering just to do one big one at the end. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. 
and then that was the final clean with me done so I'm just ticking off all my tasks and this is the best part of a cleaning day is at the end of it just getting to tick off everything that you would throw out. So that is the end of this autumn clean with me video. I really hope you have enjoyed watching it. I hope it's given you plenty of cleaning motivation. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my Hi next everyone. one. Welcome back to my channel, Hattie Homemaking. So today I am going to do a speed clean. It's actually seven o'clock in the evening. I've been at work all day today. It's my first day since the start of last year when everything happened that I have actually gone back in to work physically and not been working from home. So for the foreseeable, it's only gonna be two days a week. I'm still gonna be majority of the time working from home just because I love it so much. So that's kind of what I've opted for. I'm just a homebody, what can I say? But it has also been nice today just to get out the house. I felt a lot more motivated in terms of work and got loads done. So now my house is just, because I've not been home, normally in my breaks in between calls and things, I do my homemaking in between. So I'll do a little bit of hoovering, a little bit of tidying and just keep on top of things as the day goes. But today I obviously haven't been here. Then I kind of got in, Paul's been here and bless him. When he works, he's just kind of like, <laughs> just like everything goes everywhere but I don't blame him for that at all he has a much more stressful job than me so yeah because I've not been here and because Paul has been home alone and like the little raccoon he is <laughs> I've just decided to do a little speed clean um, and I thought I would make a nice little YouTube video out of it since I love watching tidying and cleaning videos too so I really hope you do enjoy this video Stay and skip many stones from the beach 
much and one thing you said was listen Change a bit in my heart Your words have never been wrong You want my own safety zone You're solid like a granite stone Never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. While I'm on a one way track. Now I Get by Oh now I know 
times have I fallen for you? Every promise you never deliver. How many times all the words that you said had me mixing the sweet with the bitter? But I know what you're saying, no need, no explaining. You're making me shake and shiver. You're shining your shoes, but hey, I got news. I ain't falling for all of that glitter. This time, as ready as I can be. This time, I'll be running free. Okay, so that concludes my one hour power speed clean. <laughs> one hour power. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't know it. So that was exactly an hour in my time. So on YouTube, I'm guessing I will edit this down and it will seem like I barely did anything, but that was a typical one hour quick clean. As you can see, I wrote out my Mrs. Hinch to da list at the end and I actually got quite a bit done. So I'm feeling refreshed, happy. Murphy is too, he's just shaken his life stresses away. <laughs> But it's just gonna be so much nicer now tonight. Paul is getting in from golf. We can have some dinner together. We have a nice clean bathroom to have a bath in and it's just gonna be much more of an enjoyable evening together with the house taken care of. And then tomorrow is Friday so we can wake up and 
yeah, just feel like we have less to do at the weekend. So I'm happy with that. I'm feeling content. I really hope you have enjoyed this little speed clean with me. If you want to see more like this, then let me know. This is probably one of the easiest videos for me to film because obviously we all have to clean. I have to do it anyway. So why not make it into a YouTube video? So I really hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. And welcome back to my channel where I make videos on femininity, homemaking and simple living. So if any of those topics interest you then please do make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So today as promised I wanted to do a clean with me, specifically the weekly blessing hour out of the fly lady. So this is typically what I'll do on a weekend. Um, sorry if you can hear Murphy's little paws on the floor. He's just walking around. Do you want to be picked up? Yeah, Murphy wants to be in the video. <laughs> So these are the things that I do on a weekend that I don't typically do within the week. So things like hoovering and just pretty much anything that needs doing. So usually it takes me about an hour. I'll be completely honest that this week it's taken me upwards of nearly two hours. But I think that is more the fact that it's taken me long to film. This is my first ever clean with me video. Um, and it's all quite new to me, setting up the camera angles and things like that. But usually, to be fair, it would just take me about an hour so without talking too much I'm gonna get straight on in with the video and show you my cleaning and I hope it also motivates you to clean today okay so first I started with the kitchen and this is where I probably spent the most of the time today cleaning because it really did need it as you can see from these before shots so the first thing I started to do is just clearing the sides so I always collect any dirty dishes and just put them on this little space Side the sink so that it's just easier to clear them up and then I'm just putting anything else away in cupboards that are left out. Here I'm just breaking down a box that we got delivered today and for me the only way to really break it down is to put it on the floor and stamp all over it. Probably not the most graceful but it's got to be done. Then I'm just putting it in our recycling bin that we keep in a cupboard and then every evening we'll go out and put all the recycling in the bin. Now I'm just doing the dishes which is pretty self-explanatory, just using some fairy liquid and away I go. So the next step for me is to dry the dishes and get all them put away because if I've got dishes out on the side of the sink then it's much harder to clean so I just like to put everything away before I get started on my sink. So now time for the favourite part of mine for cleaning my kitchen and that is cleaning my sink. So I just get started by boiling the kettle. I then put some bicarbonate of soda all around my sink and then put some white vinegar over it which makes it all fizz up and then I will just use that to clean all around the sink. Mm. 
once all around the sink has been cleaned i'll then put a cap of zaflora down the drain and then i will just use the boiling water from the kettle just to push all that down at the sink which makes everything smell incredible and the scent of the zaflora just fills the entire kitchen And now I'm just cleaning my drying rack and the side of my sink so that everywhere is done. And then I'll just buff our kitchen tap using some window cleaner and the window cleaner minky cloth. Since I've got the window cleaner and my minky out, I will also use that just to clean my microwave, the outside of it, and also the outside of my fridge. The next step for me is just to clean all my surfaces and my cabinets, and I use this just using a cloth and elbow grease spray. So now we're on to cleaning the hob. So first I just put some sif on it and I have to do it in the shape of a heart because it just wouldn't be any fun if I did anything else. And then I just get a scrubbing brush and just scrub any food that we have stuck on there or any burn marks. Next is actually a tip that I saw from Mrs. Hinch's Instagram and that is to use a squeegee on your hob and honestly it works wonders. So once I've done that I'll just give it another clean with a cloth before going in with my window cleaner and minky to give it a good shine. Next for the kitchen is to hoover up so when I'm doing my surfaces I just throw any bits onto the floor which might be lazy but hey ho it all gets done in the end so I just pick up all those bits with a hoover and anything else that has accumulated. And then next is to mop the floor. So I use the flora and water to clean my floor. Just a note if you have got any pets, then make sure you dilute your Zaflora properly because there has been horror stories of pets with Zaflora. So I make sure I put only a tiny bit of Zaflora in comparison to the amount of water I put in. And then that is the kitchen completely done. So I will just light a candle and I'm really happy with the progress of the kitchen today. So next I'm moving on to the bathroom. So as I mentioned in my last Fly Lady video, when you're kind of keeping on top of the bathroom, which I do every day, there's actually not that much to do. So first I just started by picking up all the mats and I will replace those with fresh ones in a little bit. Next I actually do something quite strange and I've not seen anyone else do this but I just get some toilet paper and sort of wipe around my bathroom just to pick up any dust because I find if I go in with a cleaner then all I'm really cleaning is dust and it just gets really messy and frustrating so I like to pick up the dust first. I'm then going in and cleaning my toilet and I'm not going to explain to you too much about how I do this because I'm sure you are all well versed in cleaning your toilets. <laughs> well I hope so anyway. The next thing I do is clean my bath and this actually really needed a scrub today because I scrubbed my fake tan off yesterday in the bath so I had some of those orange marks that you get around the side of your bath. So how I clean my bath is actually to use a dish matic that I only use for the bathroom and this just really helps me with my back. I don't know if anyone else struggles bending over the bath um, but I find this a lot easier so I just use a Viacal spray and my dish matic. 
Then once I have cleaned all around the side of the bath, I will then just use my shower to hose everything down and then I'll use a cloth to pick up any foam from the side of the bath. Next I'm just shining my tap with the minky cloth and then I will also use the minky cloth on the glass pane above the sink as well. So for the shower, I don't know any other way to clean it other than getting in. And yes, there have been times where I have accidentally turned on my shower and soaked myself. But that didn't happen today, luckily. So I just went in and sprayed some Viacal around and wiped around what I could see that was dirty. And then I just rearranged my shampoo bottles so they looked a little bit neater. Next, I'm just using my daily shower shine from Astonish. And I just spray this and leave it on. It's designed just to be sprayed and left so I use this every day and it's absolutely great for preventing buildup of lime scale. Next I'm just cleaning my sink so I will first go in and clean out my toothbrush holder and then I will kind of just use the same method that I used in the bath using my Dishmatic and Viacal for the sink. So to clean my mirror and also my radiator cover, I just use a minky cloth and a window cleaner. Can you tell that I have about a million minky cloths because I just swear by them for anything that's stainless steel or mirrors. <laughs> Now I'm just cleaning the floor and I do usually mop it but for today I just did a quick wipe because that's all I had time for. And now I'm just putting down some fresh mats. Once the fresh mats are down I'm just going to give them a spray of this carpet fresh cleaner which I absolutely love and it makes every room smell incredible. And then that is the end of the bathroom cleaning for today. Next we're moving on to the master bedroom and I actually had a big pile of clothes on my bed today because I got these down from the loft. This is all my really warm winter clothing and Christmas jumpers. So all I really needed to do was just fold them up and put them in a basket where I can keep all my warm jumpers together so that they're easier to find. So first I just folded all of them up and put them in my basket to keep in my wardrobe. And then next I'm just straightening up my bed. So it was actually my fiance who made our bed this morning and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this, but I just have slightly higher standards for the bed. <laughs> so I just laid out the pillows in the way that I like to do them and refolded the blankets. Next I'm just cleaning the mirrors in the bedroom. Next is just to quickly dust all the sides. And then finally, I'm just going in with a quick hoover before finishing off with the carpet spray fresh. Music 
So now we're moving on to our second bedroom, which I sort of use as an office and also a gym. So it's kind of used for a few different things at the moment. So there wasn't much to do in here. First, I just cleaned my desk with elbow grease and one of my wipes. and then just wiping down all of our gym equipment. Now I'm just cleaning the mirror. This mirror does actually get quite a bit of dust on it, so I also clean this in the week as well. And then finally, I'm just finishing off again with hoovering and then the carpet fresh spray. So the last room to do is our living room, which more just needed tidying more than anything. I sort of keep up with the living room during the week. So as you can see here, I'm just tidying up my coffee table and then I'm folding up any blankets and just generally tidying up the place. Next I'm just running the hoover around so I like to move our coffee table around as I do this to make sure that I get every last spot and then again I'm just finishing off with my carpet spray fresh so my whole house pretty much smells of that stuff by the time I've finished cleaning but it's just incredible and it makes you feel so clean and it's just nice to have a really fresh smell when you're finished cleaning. So the final thing I do is just collect any tea towels or cloths I've used during the cleaning process and I'll just put them in my washing machine for a spin for one hour on 60 degrees to try and get rid of all that bacteria. And then that is the end of my cleaning. Okay, so that is my first ever clean with me video. What do you think, Murphy? I don't think you're too impressed. Murphy doesn't like it when I clean, especially when I hoover. If Murphy had his way the whole time, then my whole house would just be a tip. <laughs> and I'd just lay on the sofa all day with him. So that is the end of this clean with me video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Please let me know if you want to see them again and I will continue to keep doing them. I know cleaning videos are something that I personally really enjoy watching. So hopefully you do too. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I I will see you in my next one. Bye from me and bye from Murphy. <laughs>